What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Julian Ferrer here, back from the Photos Ferrer YouTube channel. Hope you guys are all keeping well. In today's video, we are gonna talk about, in my opinion, the most underappreciated light modifier out there, the infamous umbrella. Yes, it is. Umbrellas are kind of like the black sheep of modifiers, so to speak. When you start off as a photographer, as a studio lighting photographer, you automatically buy an umbrella because they don't cost a lot of money. It doesn't matter if they break. But for some reason, to some photographers, they're always shunned upon as if if you have an umbrella, you can't modify light, you don't know what you're doing, and you're an amateur. That couldn't be further from the truth, at least in my opinion. Umbrellas are such wonderful light modifiers. They are cheap. They are light. They are space saving. They provide soft, beautiful, angelic light that can only be replicated by modifiers probably five, six, seven times the price. I believe every photographer, beginner, intermediate, pro, should have an umbrella in their kit. Umbrellas come in a few different forms and shapes. They come as typical shoot through umbrellas. So this is white satin. You place the umbrella with your light and you shoot through it. Hence the name shoot through, cheap. Anywhere from four, five, six dollars. Made of plastic, very cheap. Somebody breaks it, somebody steals it. You just don't give a They come as reflective umbrellas where the mod, where your strobe or your speed light is pointed back up into the umbrella on a white fabric or even a silver fabric and then deflects light back, bounces light back. The shoot through is a diffuse light. This is a bounce light, a bit more expensive but they also are a little bit softer because they are diffusing that light source, making it inherently softer than what a shoot through umbrella can do. We also have another form of an umbrella. We call them deep umbrellas. Deep umbrellas are my favorite modifier by far. You've seen it in my other videos and all the work that I do. My favorite one is my Westcott Apollo 53 inch silver deep umbrella. Deep umbrellas kind of give you the control a little bit more than a normal umbrella would kind of give you. Sort of like that softbox. So as you can see, by deep, this is a 53 inch and there's no way in heck I'm gonna be opening up. I can almost use this to block light on a golf course, but this is a 53 inch silver umbrella. So you do kind of need to have a little bit of space to use it. I'm kind of limited in my basement, but I kind of make it through. They have 40 inches, they have 35 inches. And because they're deep, you have the, the length of your umbrella pole that you can move in or out from the opening of your modifier and of your strobe. That gives you either more specular light, more concentrated light, or more diffused wider light. They're a bit more expensive. You can think they range anywhere from $80 to $250. So the deep umbrellas give you a bit more control, a bit more direct, and sometimes a bit more specularity depending on um, the style of the umbrella being white or silver. But I believe they are worth it. Now we spoke about the advantages. What are the disadvantages of using umbrellas? Well, first of all, they're not very good using outdoors without an assistant. If you're using an umbrella, especially a large one outdoors, uh, they are called sails. They, they pretty much are sails. They grab the wind and they will fly away. This umbrella has flown away with my strobes probably already three or four times. And luckily I didn't break it, but I did break a strobe. I broke one of my Godox strobes. So you need an assistant to use an umbrella outdoors because they're just too light. And even with sandbags, they will grab the wind. The second disadvantage of an umbrella is that they, they scatter light everywhere. They don't have the control of a softbox. So if you look at a shoot through umbrella, well, you know, if you shoot through this, well, you know, it's gonna scatter light, light's gonna go left, light's gonna go right, up, down. They're not as diffused or compressed as a softbox. They have trouble pushing light forward. Reflective umbrellas solve that problem a little bit. Deep umbrellas solve that problem even more, but they'll never be as concentrated a light as a softbox. So that is a big disadvantage, and that's what makes umbrellas kind of hard to use in small spaces, because they scatter light everywhere. Granted, they're very good for lighting up groups, they're very good for lighting up backdrops. And contrary to what some people say, they give you light that is as soft or softer than comparable octoboxes or softboxes. The key is, it'll cost you one quarter of the price. So there you have it. This is why I love umbrellas and why I highly recommend using them in the studio. With that being said, guys, if you have any questions, please comment down below. If you like my channel, subscribe, give a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Stay visual, people.